Hello friends, welcome to the Cloudbig YouTube channel. My name is Manoj and today we will learn how to add Gmail account to Outlook. So first we need to go to our Gmail account. Once we entered into our Gmail account, we need to make changes in some settings. So we will click on settings, then click on see all settings. So in the forwarding and pop and IMAP tab, we need to enable pop and imap you can either enable pop you can either enable imap or you can enable both so we can set up gmail account through pop protocol or through imap protocol so we will enable these and save changes once we have done this step we need to go to our account settings so we will click on manage your google account so we will go to the security tab to add our gmail account in outlook we need to create an app password normal gmail password doesn't work for this so first we need to enable two-step verification so you can enable your two-step verification by adding your mobile number so we will click on this so now our two-step verification is on so we can create app password now so in the bottom you can see app passwords option so we will click on these app passwords now we will create a new one so we can give it any name so you can see the app password is generated so we will copy this password and save it in notepad now our process from gmail is completed now we need to open our outlook so we will open outlook as you can see none of the account is added in my outlook so we will click on file here we will click on add account so we will click on manual setup and click next so we are adding account through pop or imap so we will choose pop or imap so the difference between pop and imap is like in pop it will download all the emails and put here in outlook but in imap it will sync the emails through the gmail server so if you have configured your email account through imap if you delete any email from outlook it will be deleted automatically from the gmail server but in the case of pop if you delete emails from outlook the emails will remain on the gmail server so this is the main difference between this so we will configure it through imap protocol so in the name you can feed your name in the email address you need to type complete email address so in the account type we will choose imap so in the incoming mail server we will put the mail server of the gmail so it is imap.gmail.com and in the outgoing server we will put smtp.gmail.com in the username we will need to type complete email address So in the password field, we need to put our app password. 
we will paste it and now we need to change some settings so we will click on more settings in the outgoing server we will click on this option in the advanced tab so in the advanced tab we need to choose ssl and in the encrypted connection for outgoing server we need to choose ssl and in the port we need to type 993 for incoming server and for outgoing server we need to type 465 so it is the settings for the gmail so we will now click on ok button and now click on next button so it will test the settings now you can see the incoming mail server login is completed and it is now sending test email messages and now you can see the both are completed we can click on the close button so if you need to add another account you can click on this option otherwise click on finish button now you can see our gmail account is added and it will syncing the inbox it it will take some time in syncing all the inbox so you can see it is syncing continuously so with these steps you can easily add your gmail account in outlook thank you guys for watching the complete video if you have any queries regarding this you can ask us in the comment section don't forget to like and subscribe our channel also follow us on other social media platform social media links are in the description